and welcome to Out of Spec Motoring. Today we are comparing the Hyundai Kona Electric and the Chevy Bolt, both brand new 2020 models, and we start this test off to see which is more efficient. I have selected the Hyundai Kona Electric Ultimate. This is 2020 model year. I've just set the tire pressures to 38 PSI, the factory settings. Ben has brought along the Chevrolet Bolt EV. This is the new updated 2020 model. The barber shops are still closed here in North Carolina from COVID. Uh, and we are adjusting the tire pressures to factory specs. The plan for this range test, it's not a range test, efficiency test is to drive both cars along the same route from here in Raleigh to the Rocky Mountain Electrify America station, charge up the cars, head to the out of spec motoring racetrack and put them through a series of challenges. I am resetting my trip odometer here. There we go. And let me talk to Ben. Ben, have you reset your trip odometer? That beat means I have. Fantastic. Let's go to the Rocky Mount Electrify America station. We're gonna run our climate control just kind of at a normal, comfortable thing, nothing excessive. We are cruising down the highway and uh, I have selected the active lane keeping and the adaptive cruise. Ben is having to drive manually back there. Let's see how he's doing. Ben, how are you enjoying your adaptive cruise control and the active lane centering? It's, uh, well, I'm, I'm the enthusiast version, apparently, because I don't have any of those. We're about 42 miles into the trip. Uh, we have been driving the exact same speed, same conditions. I am at uh, 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Ben, what is your efficiency up to this point? I am at 0.3 miles per kilowatt hour so far. Oh, you broke up. You got to say it again. 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. Oh, mine just bumped up to 3.5, so I'm doing a little bit better than you. And we're just pulling off the exit. The charging station is right over there. We're just gonna top up the cars a bit. They're kind of full, but we have a full day of tests, so we may as well fast charge them, make sure all the batteries are warmed up. I'm sure this drive certainly warmed up most of it. We are at the charging station. I've done 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Ben, what have you done over there? I guess he's looking. <laughs> I unplugged my phone and it played XM at like full volume all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour, 5.8 miles travel. Very nice, so you did 3.8? All right, 3.3 3 at 55.8 miles. 3.3, 3. I did 3.5. The Kona's more efficient. Oh, well, that's because I've got the stealth coating that adds, I did an average of 57.5 miles per hour. How about you? Uh, it doesn't show speed, but you had bird poop and I didn't. It harm my efficiency. <laughs> it, it got in the way of all my aerodynamics. <laughs> And now it's time for the next challenge, which is an acceleration test between the two. I think the Kona will win. What do you think? I think the Bolt will win. I've got really? the best tires. Yeah, the, We the, know the Kona does massive burnouts. The problem this with the Kona not. is it has super efficient tires on it, Nexen something or other. So especially in the rain, anytime you try to accelerate, it just spins its front tires. The Bolt seems to do a much better job. It feeds in the power a little more. and But the Kona feels levels. faster. Yeah, because it just doesn't have any finesse to <laughs> Right, it. it just gives it everything and it wants. that is the same color as an Audi RS performance car. So it's got a... Yeah, it's like Nardo grayish. It's got to have some benefit from that, too. Well, I guess uh, let's run in. Both the cars, just battery levels. The Kona's a little bit higher charged mm -hmm. by about 10%. I think I'm about 65% in the Kona. You're about 55%. 55, yeah. So not equal, but not far off. Both cars were driven up. DC fast charge. Batteries are warm. So let's go see which accelerates faster. So now that we're alone, I'm gonna go over my strategy here. Uh, it's put it into D and hit the sport button. There's, there's really not much more to it than that. I think I'll turn off traction control as well, see if that helps a little. Uh, I, uh, he's, he's talking about his strategy over there. So my plan is traction control on. The reason is these tires just spin like crazy. 
I'm going to select sport mode, um, which I don't really think does much, but we're going to find out. I'm in drive and we're going to wipe the floor of this bolt. I, there's no way he can win this. We have a little bit higher charge level and this just feels faster. So we'll find out. And in three, two, what? Don't you inch forwards. I thought I was an L. I forgot this one has creep. <laughs> and in three, two, one, go. We got him off the line. Got him off the line. Come on, Kona. Oh, it got the jump. Oh no. Oh, but we're still pulling away. We, not by much. They're so evenly matched. Oh, it's pulling away slowly. So evenly matched. Oh, Kona takes the cake. That was 90 miles an hour. Sorry, Bolt. It wasn't far off. That is unbelievably close. I mean, that's almost near as makes no difference. But, uh, yep. One in the Kona. I'm surprised by that. I honestly thought I was going to have it in this car. I've got the traction. The, all of a sudden, the Kona has traction. Where'd that come from? I want to try the other lane then. You're on the racing line. Script for you. Spin? I don't know. I want you to spin though. That's the idea. <laughs> That's what I was banking on with this thing. Okay. Really surprised the Kona hooked up uh, from a launch. I've never had it do that. Although this surface is pretty grippy. So that really made this win. I think in the real world off of a start line though, the Kona would spin its tires. Um, so now we're going to switch lanes to make sure we're totally even. I still think I'm going to win. Let's find out. All right, I still think I'm gonna beat you. I don't know about that. I feel like I, sh I won earlier, briefly, when we did not test this on any public streets at all, well, you know. Right, we never, we never tested this on public streets, but if we did, you won, uh, barely. So I'm a little surprised by this with my superior traction. All right, well, let's give it a go. I still think I'm going to win and I'm not doing, you know, traction control is all on. I'm just in sport. Auto hold is off. So I'll give us the count in. I'll turn traction control on as well, just to see. Okay. And in three, two, one, go. I got the jump off the line just barely. Oh my God. He's pulling away from me. But yeah, this pulls just a hair. Once we get to about 60 miles an hour though, it evens out. I'm still beating you. It's just faster all the way through. Oh, I've reached my top speed. What did you get up to? 93, top speed. Okay, I think it can safely be said that the Kona is faster. But up next is which can regen more strongly. So the thing about the Kona is when you touch the brake pedal, it regens at 150 kilowatt. But which regens with the regen pedal the most, which is how you want to be driving in daily driving, We'll find out. We're going to yes. do two different tests. The first will be coming down here at 70 miles per hour in the highest regen mode off the accelerator pedal. Yes, it'll just be with the strongest you can have it set to be while one pedal with no other factors. Right. These so the, both do have a paddle though. Right. So that the bolt can it has drive and then L. And the L means when you lift off the accelerator pedal, you get more regen. That's your one pedal driving setting. In right. The, car. the Kona has four settings. It has zero, one, two, and three for regen. Zero is just coasting. And then the more you pull the left steering wheel paddle, like a downshift paddle, it increases the amount of regen you get when you lift off. And the off. bolt can do the same. And the bolt has, when you pull the paddle on both cars, you get more regen on top of what it's already so doing. So yours has technically five, and I have three right. settings. So that's the Wait, first no, test. I've got a lot of settings. The first test is just lifting off in the strongest regen. The second test is going to be uh, pulling that bad. paddle. But yeah. the cars also can regen more if you touch the brake pedal. But we're not testing that because it's hard to, to figure out the exact blending yeah. point. Uh, but it is important to note, you saw a maximum of 70 kilowatt regen Somewhere on the bolt. Somewhere around there. We'll get a clip It's not bad. It, yeah. uh, and then the Kona did 150 kilowatt. Which is twice what it charges at. Yeah. It's which is just, a little surprising. <laughs> it's if so much. If you find a big enough hill, it'd be much faster to charge the car going down the hill. Yeah. I, plug it in. Yeah, exactly. We should so, try tow charging that. Yeah, but you have to go really fast to get the 150 kilowatt. Yeah, That's like we, it's 70 miles an hour. That. Slam on the brake pedal. That's right. Okay, let's go uh, run the bolt first in L and just come down at 70 miles per hour and you're going to lift off. We're going to put a little marker right here, a cone, 
and then we'll mark where you stop. That's 70 and lift. It's slowing down pretty well. We're about 50 kilowatts, 40 now. Still 33 kilowatts at 20 miles an hour. And coming to a full stop. There is zero. All right, so now I'm in L, strongest regen setting, and I'll be pulling the paddle once we pass our marker here. So regen with the paddle, let's see. It's 70 kilowatts. I think that's the maximum it'll do. Oh, definitely going to be better than the last time. Yeah. I think we've got the... Uh, Hyundai Kona safety vehicle coming. It's the official cone vehicle of the day, given its name. Oh. So that is where the bolt stopped with just using off the pedal, and it stopped all the way back here with the regen paddle. I don't know how big of a difference it is, but that's fairly sizable. Cruising at 70, uh, and off the pedal. Not gonna touch anything, just gonna let the car coast down. So we're doing 63 kilowatt regen, 53, 48. Oh, wow. We're blowing past the bolt. Oh, 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 this took a while. And now it just stops, so I have to hit the brake pedal for the rest. 70 and pull the regen paddle. Let's see, 106 kilowatt regen right there. 106 peak. And now we're down under 70. Oh, we're gonna stop before the bolt. Oh, 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 yes. So you can see where the car stopped. Here is the Kona using the regen paddle. There is the bolt using the regen paddle. The next one down is the bolt not using the regen paddle. And the last cone on the left right there is the Kona not using the regen paddle. So one each and on to the next challenge. And now it's time for a reversing drag race. I've run out of GoPro, so I'm gonna film it on my phone and drive backwards, which is not safe. Can't recommend it, but um, let's go see. Thought I'd let you know that I've engaged sport mode while in reverse. Oh, I should do that too. I just did as well. And why don't you count us in because I have to hold the phone. All right, are you ready? Uh, Yes. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, it's same acceleration, but he rockets backwards. Oh, that is fast. <laughs> Look at him go. 38 miles an hour, 37 miles an hour in reverse. I saw 150 kilowatts. That was full power backwards. This car is amazing. Wow, so much faster. <laughs> well, if you need to drive backwards quickly, often, you only have one option, the Chevrolet Bolt. Now it's time for the last challenge. This is the last, so basically, the Bolt needs to get this one to call it a tie. We need one win for this car for a tie. For a tie, and I actually think this is gonna win. So now I'm gonna drive both cars around our big loop corner here at the track, and we're gonna see which one can sustain a higher speed. So this is for the performance enthusiasts. We want to see cornering speeds here. Cornering the speeds, highest? yes. The uh, one last thing I want to mention, if you're curious more about these two cars, take a look at Inside EVs because I'm doing a full review for normal practically focused people, not us who want to see which is faster in reverse. This is impractical? I, I mean, it's practical for you and I, but no one else. Uh, well, there's got to be, you know, there's 7 billion people. There's probably Two more of us. Somewhere. Two more. Yeah, you know. it can't be much more than that. Uh, I will say <laughs> off the bat, these seats. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to. <laughs> I'm going so slow. I'm because holding myself <laughs> in a lot. We're falling out, and the nice thing is, are going this direction, we're going to be turning left. So I have something to bump Let into. Let me see if I can move my seat a little bit. <laughs> here, I can hit the brakes. Oh, I got it. I'm locked <laughs> okay. in. All right, so now we're going to start right here, and we'll go around the loop. Whatever speed we get at on the other side, Ben, because I'm going to be looking at driving. I'll read the numbers. You'll on. read the numbers. So we have sport mode on and traction control fully on. And let's go. Ooh, good launch. Good yeah, launch. good power. Oh, I kind of 
cut There's there. like a dip and then a, yeah, you get that's a secondary barrel level. Okay, so we're at 55, 60, 64, 65. Uh, 60. I'm floored. 60. So 60 mile Let's an hour Let's call it 60. Exit. Yeah, 60 is the number there. And that speedometer is slightly optimistic by like one mile an hour. Yes. It okay. Is, okay, so 50. 9.5 <laughs> Alright, so the bolts got it at 60 I'm going to cool activate cool seats. seats Yeah I might have the cooler looking seat But these are physically cold You know what I should have checked before we've done this comparison test? Yeah What each car costs eh. Is that relevant? <laughs> I know they're in the same Category. What does that beep it just did? Oh, it thought we went over the lines because we have the autopilot lines there. Oh, wait, were we spray painting? Yeah, I, I must have hit one of the autopilot lines. Ah, I see. Okay, so yeah, let's go sport mode. So wait, uh, can you make that not be kilometers an hour? Oh, well, I get sp a speed on the outside. Yeah, but can I get a digital speedometer? Yeah, that's there you go. You get both. Yeah, that way I can get your number. Okay, yeah, I'm oh, guessing. and we get that stupid power percent gauge Here. that isn't accurate. Let's we'll see if the camera puts it up. Neutral. Yeah. Just put your foot. Yeah, that, yeah. It, does, it has nothing to do with actual power. It's powers. just pedal position. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you put it in drive and my foot was floored. It's like neutral drop me. <laughs> okay, so let's go sport level three regen. Mm -hmm. We're going to start from here like we were in the bolt and they both make excellent electric car motor noises and things yeah the little outside noises yeah. although this kind of sounds like a world war ii creepy siren type thing like a dive bomber yeah <laughs> kind of thing. yeah i don't know if i like it so much okay but i like the bolts full power all right we are entering at 56 there's 59 60 Oh, but that's, it can't sustain 60, can it? 61. 61. 60. Uh, uh, 60. I would say 62. 62, 63. Yeah, because you had some above and below. But right. the average, I'd say there was about 61, okay, 62. Okay, well, this may have gone quicker, but the bolt was way more composed through there. It felt like it balanced itself Traction on Traction control level. was really surgy. Yes. And in the bolt... I would say it was easier to drive at the limit than this car. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is in the Bolt, it significantly launches better, I should say consistently launches better than this car. Yeah. So I wonder if that's tires or, I don't know. But Probably uh, tires, weight distribution. Yeah. This is, I'll say right now, this sounds a lot louder in here than the Bolt is a much quieter car. It feels a lot more solid despite it having a lot of uh, harsher interior material. The bolt just feels bigger on the inside too. Oh, it is much bigger. By the way, I didn't touch the brakes any harder there. It just did it like an emergency stop. <laughs> it must have felt us going into a corner and was like, ah. Wasn't sure what to do. Right. Um, or the camera saw something up ahead because we have the GoPro mounted on the camera. And yeah, nearby. Yeah, so be, it could have we're about to out. have an accident with a car <laughs> that's in the sky right now. All right, so let's go wrap up with a conclusion as to the Kona wins, but for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Surely we can come up with another test. <laughs> <laughs> All the bolt people will be angry at me I for know, letting them down. I'm sorry. Cars. Yeah. Sorry, bolt owners. So there you have it. Your very uh, um, useful video as to why both cars, one's better than the other. And if you wanted one form of consumer advice, I would say the bolt's a little quieter. Yeah, that's so probably the, that. <laughs> we don't need too much consumer advice here. If you that want that, that might be a little too scientific <laughs> for us. So. Go over to Inside EVs where I review both of these cars and actually look at it from a consumer's perspective. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.